Some people want to explore whether Paul has an auto salutis and how union with Christ relates to that auto salutis. And I think Richard Gaffin has helpfully pointed out that that, that in Calvin he, he seems very reluctant to establish an auto salutis because all the benefits that we have in Christ are ours once we have union with Christ. So at the moment of union with Christ, we have our justification, we have our sanctification, uh, we have everything that he has for us at once. Now you could argue, I suppose, that there is a, a logical kind of auto salutis, and in my book I do explore that a little, uh, but more to do, that's more to do with the different images of union with Christ that I develop. So our, our our, our faith union with Christ, we, the church is, is, is married to Christ, we have a spiritual union with him, he is in us, we are in him. And having established that relationship, we die with Christ and are raised with Christ, that's participation. And having died with Christ and been raised with Christ, then we are identified in Christ uh, under the realm of his rule. And uh, belonging to the realm of his rule, the fourth image is incorporation, that we are incorporated into uh, Christ's body as members of his body together. It's a corporate idea. So there is a, a kind of logic, but it all happens at once. It's not like a temporal thing. Uh, and uh, I think really that means that, that a strict auto salutis doesn't really make sense for Paul unless you say, through union with Christ, these things are ours.